Chronic hepatitis is a significant health concern worldwide, with millions of people affected by this condition. As medical professionals, it is crucial for us to have a comprehensive understanding of the etiology, pathogenesis, clinical presentation, diagnostic evaluation, histopathology, complications, treatment options, prognosis, and public health implications of chronic hepatitis. In this script, we will explore these topics in detail, along with specific focus on hepatitis B virus, HBV, genotypes and their clinical implications, as well as interferon-based therapy for chronic hepatitis C. Let us delve into this intricate field and gain a deeper understanding of chronic hepatitis. In summary, chronic hepatitis can be caused by viral infections, such as HBV, HCV, HDV, and HEV, autoimmune diseases, alcohol abuse, and exposure to certain chemicals. Lifestyle factors and environmental exposures can also increase the risk of chronic hepatitis. The pathogenesis of chronic hepatitis involves viral factors, immune response, and host factors. Viral particles infect hepatocytes, triggering an immune response with T-cell and B-cell activation, cytokine release, and recruitment of inflammatory cells to the liver. In chronic hepatitis B, the virus can persist in hepatocytes as covalently closed circular DNA, while chronic hepatitis C is characterized by high viral replication. Host factors, such as genetic variations in immune response genes, also play a role in determining disease severity. Chronic hepatitis has vague symptoms, including fatigue and abdominal discomfort. Physical examination may reveal an enlarged liver and tenderness. Advanced cases may show signs like fluid accumulation, dilated blood vessels, palm redness, and brain dysfunction. Laboratory tests, including liver enzymes and viral markers, aid in diagnosis. The diagnostic evaluation of chronic hepatitis involves a detailed medical history, physical examination, laboratory tests, imaging studies, and liver biopsy to determine the underlying cause and severity of the disease. Non-invasive methods like transient elastography can also aid in assessing liver fibrosis. Liver biopsies are essential for diagnosing and managing chronic hepatitis. In chronic hepatitis B, lymphocyte infiltration and interface hepatitis are key features. Chronic hepatitis C is characterized by lymphocytic infiltration, fibrosis, and steatosis. These findings help guide treatment decisions and predict disease progression. Chronic hepatitis carries a significant risk of complications, which can have a profound impact on patient outcomes. The most feared complication is the development of cirrhosis, characterized by extensive liver fibrosis and distortion of normal liver architecture. Cirrhosis can lead to various complications, including portal hypertension, hepatocellular carcinoma, hepatic encephalopathy, ascites, spontaneous bacterial peritonitis, and coagulopathy. These complications significantly contribute to morbidity and mortality in patients with chronic hepatitis. Additionally, chronic hepatitis B and C increase the risk of extrahepatic manifestations, such as glomerulonephritis, vasculitis, autoimmune disorders, and lymphoproliferative disorders. These systemic complications can further complicate the management of chronic hepatitis. Treatment of chronic hepatitis involves antiviral therapy for hepatitis B and C, utilizing nucleostide analogs or direct-acting antivirals. For autoimmune hepatitis, corticosteroids are the mainstay, with additional immunosuppressive agents used as needed. Treatment choice depends on factors such as etiology and disease severity. In summary, the prognosis of chronic hepatitis is influenced by factors such as viral replication, liver fibrosis, and comorbidities. Early intervention and monitoring are vital for better outcomes. Liver transplantation may be an option for advanced cases. Liver transplantation is a life-saving procedure for individuals with advanced liver disease from chronic hepatitis. It is essential for patients experiencing complications of cirrhosis or hepatocellular carcinoma that are beyond transplant criteria. Immunosuppressive medications are utilized to prevent rejection post-transplant, while long-term monitoring is necessary for recurrent infections and malignancies. These strategies, combined with improved access to antiviral therapies, can help reduce the burden of chronic hepatitis and its associated complications, such as cirrhosis and hepatocellular carcinoma. Public health efforts should focus on raising awareness, promoting testing and vaccination, and ensuring affordable and equitable access to treatment for all individuals affected by chronic hepatitis. Hepatitis B virus, HBV, has diverse genotypes, AJ, with geographical distributions and clinical implications. Genotype C in East Asia and Southeast Asia carries a higher risk of liver fibrosis and hepatocellular carcinoma. Genotyping aids treatment and outcome prediction using PCR techniques. Interferon-based therapy was the mainstay of treatment for chronic hepatitis C before the advent of direct-acting antivirals, DAAs. 
Interferons exert antiviral effects and modulate the immune response, aiming to achieve sustained virologic response SVR. Interferon-based regimens typically consist of pegylated interferon alpha, along with ribavirin, an antiviral medication. Treatment duration depends on various factors, including the HCV genotype, prior treatment history, and patient-specific factors. Interferon-based therapy has several limitations, including significant side effects, such as flu-like symptoms, fatigue, depression, hematological abnormalities, and autoimmune reactions. Additionally, treatment response rates were relatively lower compared to DAAs, especially in certain HCV genotypes. With the advent of highly effective and well-tolerated DAAs, interferon-based therapy is now reserved for select patients who cannot access or tolerate DAAs. Nonetheless, Understanding the historical context and limitations of interferon-based therapy remains essential for medical professionals. In conclusion, chronic hepatitis is a complex condition with significant global impact. Advances in antiviral therapy have improved treatment outcomes. Early diagnosis and collaboration among medical professionals are essential for effective management and prevention. Let's continue to enhance our knowledge and contribute to better patient care.